Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to downgrade iPadOS 15 back to iPadOS 14 without losing data. So first of all, let me open up settings and on the about page you can see right here, I am running software version 15.0 iPadOS 15 on my iPad Air 2. So the first thing you will need to do in order to downgrade is we need to go to the home screen and dock. And first of all, newly downloaded apps, if you have this set to app library only, you must set this back to add to home screen. This is because when you downgrade back to iPadOS 14, if you set this to app library only, there is no way to change it back. This means all of your new applications will be downloading to the iPadOS 14 app library, which doesn't exist, so your apps will not show up at all on the home screen, which is a pretty big deal, and the only way to fix that will be updating back to iPadOS 15. Next, what I want you to do is I want you uh, to go to general, then I want you to find uh, reset, and you want to tap on reset and reset all settings. So we're going to tap on this one, and we're going to enter in our passcode. What this will do is any iPadOS 15 specific settings which were applied on your iPad, they will all be reset. However, the one main one which isn't reset is the app library, which is why I showed you how to do that before. So you will not lose any of your data again. However, you will lose your touch IDs, or your passcode, and or your wallpaper on your home screen. Just keep that in mind. Uh, so we'll just tap on the reset, reset, and now the process will begin. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut, and I'm gonna come back once this is done. All right, guys, so the process is completed, and as you can see, my wallpaper is now the default, iPadOS 15 wallpaper, and all my settings are to their default. So the next step we wanna do is we want to get a computer and plug our iPad into it. So uh, you can see I have uh, this adapter, USB type C uh, to USB type A, and then uh, that cable is plugged into my iPad. If you want the same situation as me, well, you need an adapter to plug in your iPad to your computer. This is exact adapter is in the description. And if you go on to buy this adapter or you buy any other product from Amazon, instead of Amazon getting fees, which they usually take, I receive the fees instead. So if you want to help support out the channel, you don't have to obviously, but if you uh, would like to, uh, check out the uh, Amazon affiliate link in the description. So once we're on a computer, we want to head over to the next link, which will be in the description, ipsw.me, and we want to click on iPad. Let's we'll click that again. Why is this taking so long? There we go. So once we have clicked on iPad, we need to choose our iPad model. So I have the iPad uh, Air 2. So you can see, where is it? iPad Air 2 Wi-Fi. If you have cellular, obviously select cellular. So I'm going to select iPad Air 2 Wi-Fi. And, oh my god, this website is so slow. But once this loads, we need to select the uh, iPadOS 14 firmware. So uh, there is a possibility that when you are watching this video, iPadOS 14 is not signed anymore. But we can check that if this page loads. So you can see, signed IPSWs right here. If you see any version of iPadOS 14 which is signed, you just click on it, download the IPSW. If you see all iPadOS 14 firmwares in the unsigned IPSWs area, while you can still download the IPSW file, when you try and downgrade via iTunes or Finder, Apple does server checks to see if the firmware is still signed. So if you download this firmware while it says it's signed, and then when you try to uh, uh, downgrade uh, the firmware unsigned, even though you downloaded the firmware while it was signed, because it's a server check, not a locally signed uh, IPSW file. This means that if you are watching in the future and iPadOS 14 isn't signed, you are unable to downgrade. However, if there is iPadOS 14 uh, signed, just click on the IPSW file and then there should be an install button. You can see download right there. I've already downloaded this IPSW file, so we're going to move on to the next step. So we just want to open up the Finder application or if you're on Windows, you want to open up iTunes and you want to select your iPad. I'm just going to go out and back in because it seems like it was glitching there. And then once we're here, we can see iPadOS 15. And what I want you to do is on Mac, you're going to hold down Option. And if you're on Windows, you're going to hold down Shift. You're going to hold down uh, either button and then check for, uh, left click check for update. So again, on Mac, you hold down Option, left click Jeff, uh, check for update. On Windows, you hold down left shift and uh, left shift, left shift and check for update. So let's do that now. And once we've done this, we now have a manual option to choose our firmware file. So we're just going to scroll down until we see. Uh, should be uh, your iPad firmware 
14.6 to IPSW. If you downloaded the 14.71, then you'll see 14.7. But for me, 14.6 is uh, signed at the time of recording. So I selected this firmware. We're going to click on open. And then it says uh, that your Mac will update your iPad, uh, but we are downgrading. However, when you downgrade your software, it doesn't tell you that you're downgrading it. So we're just going to click on update. And now the process of downgrading our iPad from iPadOS 15.0 back to 14 is starting. So there's nothing you can really do other than just wait. Keep your iPad plugged into the computer. If there's any uh, prompts to enter in your passcode in order to downgrade, enter in your passcode. And we're just going to wait for this process to do its thing. So uh, when this happens, uh, your iPad will shut off. You can see it just happened right here. Good timing. And um, you're going to see a progress bar. I'm going to cut this because this does take quite a while. However, just you know, keep your iPad as it is and eventually the downgrade should complete. Uh, if you get any 3000 XX error, that means you skip the video because the firmware isn't signed. And remember, Apple does server checks when you are downgrading your firmware to check if the firmware signed. And if the firmware isn't signed, Apple will block you from downgrading. So just keep that in mind. Very important. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut to once this iPad is back on iOS 14. So I'll be back. All right, guys. So we'll just press home to unlock. And it says your iPad has been updated to iOS 14.6. Of course, we downgraded. So we'll just tap on uh, continue. And we'll choose our network. Uh, screw that. Yeah. <laughs> Who cares? Yeah. And we'll just go to the home screen real quick. So don't use passcodes. Don't use. Agree. Agree. And let's not use Siri. Don't share. There we go. So first of all, let's open up settings. Let's go to the about page and you can see software version 14.6 right there. So remember earlier I was on software version uh, 15. You can also check the serial number if you really believe that, you know, I'm using some CGI editing. Uh, I did actually downgrade my iPad to iPadOS 14.6 successfully. And um, yeah, so hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, make sure to smash like, subscribe if you're brand new. See you guys later. Bye bye.